what is up you guys this is Lieutenant Johnny here and you selected a step-by-step -step video on how to work your R4i 3DS that is right the R4 R4i 3DS I bought this one even though I have a DS Lite I bought this one because it works with 3DS and if I ever want to upgrade I don't have to buy a new one um well what we'll be needing is our DS the R4 itself and mine actually did come with an SD card reader which we'll also need and then we're going to need our micro SD. I have a SanDisk 8 gigabytes. At minimum, you need at least two. Um, also, make sure that your R4, if you're going to get one higher than two gigs, make sure that it can support SDHC card because it won't work unless if it's an HD SDHC card. Yeah. Okay, but uh, before we even get started with hardware, we need to download some software on the computer, so let's do that first. Okay, before we can download the R4 software or any games, we're going to need some type of unzipping software. That's either WinRAR or 7-Zip. So let's download WinRAR now. You go to win-rar.com. Link for this will be in the description. Go over to Downloads tab. Select what, uh, what platform, Windows, 64-bit, search... And that's the latest one in English. You would click on this. And then it will download. I do not want it to download though. Because I already have it downloaded. And it takes too long to download. So I exit this out. Go to where I would already downloaded it. To my downloads tab. And I have it right here. I would click it. Go to install. Once it's finished installing. There will be a shortcut that pops up here. And that's how you know that it's installed. Okay, now that you have WinRAR installed, we need to download the R4 software. There are two main R4 softwares that come with each R4, because each R4 has different software. So, we need to download the right one for your R4. If you don't know what software comes with your R4, look on the box. There'll be a website usually at the bottom, or somewhere on the box there'll be a website. Go to that website and go to the Downloads tab. For my R4, the R4i SDHC 3DS, you go to the R4i-HDSDHC.com. Go over to the R4i downloads. And just download the latest one. You normally click it and then down there. Okay. So let's open up my downloads tab again. And there it is. I, ha I would have it downloaded and it would be right here. What we want to do is minimize this. Go to our desktop. Create a new folder. And call it a R4i SDHC. You can call it whatever you want, but that's where we're going to save all of our files for now. Open up, open back up my downloads tab. What I want to do is I want to make, bam. I'm going to right click, extract to. Now that I have it extracted, I'm going to open it up. Open it up again. I'm going to drag these files. I'm just going to drag them right into this folder. Right there. Okay, now go back, go back. Okay, now that we have that done, we need to download some games. So let's go back to the internets. Let's go over to this link. It's called, uh, this, I don't even know, I don't even want to say it. But link for this will be in the description. You uh, can either go to this website or just type in uh, the name of the game, then the word ROM into Google. So let's scroll over on uh, Nintendo DS ROMs. Okay. Go over to Pokemon... Pokemon Black version S S Pokemon Black version DSI enhanced. Just click on that. This is the top downloads tab. You can either search by the name of the game or uh, the top downloads tab. But let's download Pokemon Black, a very popular game. Go over to the quick navigation, download links, highlight one of the links, right click, er, yeah, right click, copy, next tab, paste, enter. Okay, download file. Wait for this to pop up. Then you would click this button, download now. Once it's done downloading, it should be in your downloads tab. Or your downloads folder, excuse me. Downloads folder. And there I have it downloaded, Pokemon Black DSi Enhanced. Right click on it, extract to. Now that I have that extracted, we're going to go back to our R4i uh, folder. Right-click, create a new folder inside it, and call it uh, DS Games. You can really name it whatever you want. 
Let's open up the Pokemon Black folder and extract the .nds file into our DS Games folder that we just created. Okay, now that it's there. Okay. So now, let's download it. This is an optional step. You do not have to download this, but we're going to download a thing called Lame Boy. What Lame Boy is, is that it's a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color emulator that works on the R4. So pretty much it'll let you play uh, Game Boy Color games on, on your DS. Let's open this up. Go over to Google and just type in Lame Boy. Yet again, this is an optional step. Website for this, link in the description. So Lame Boy DS version 0.12, this is the latest as of today. Click it, and then it'll download. Once it's done downloading, it should be in your Downloads tab. There I have it, Lame Boy DS. I'm going to right-click on it, Extract to, open it, drag the .nds file, Actually, first, we're going to go back to our R4i folder, create a new folder, call it a uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Color Games. Drag the .nds file into the Game Boy Color Games. And uh, now, that's pretty much it, but let's download some more games. Okay, so as you can tell, I've been uh, spending my time downloading a couple games. Um, I downloaded some Mario, some more Pokemon, and uh, so yeah. I also downloaded Pokemon Crystal version, so I can show you that. And that is pretty much it. You can also create another folder and call it Media, but I personally do not use Media on my uh, on my DS. M media would be things like music or movies or something like that. But for movies, you have to have it in some weird format. It is an AVI. It's some really weird, like, HKS or whatever. Um, don't really worry about that. Just if you really want, you can, like, research it, but no point of that. Okay, now that we downloaded all of our software, let's put the USB inside the card reader. So let's open up my R4, because as I said earlier, mine came with an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader. Okay, so here it is, USB to micro SD. Open up our little card. Make sure that you put it in the right way, there's like a little picture, a little picture that's on the thing. Put it in like so. Slide it in gently, and then now we're going to put this into our computer, like so. Okay, now we're going to open up the computer's folder, and we're going to put in our micro SD. As you can tell, there's some files already on my micro SD. You do not want that. You want a blank micro SD. So let's right click and format. Just format it, start. Oh, yes. I'm gonna fully format it. You do not. You want to do this even if it says that it's blank. Just format it no matter what, just to be safe. Okay. Now that we have that formatted, let's open it up. As you can tell, it's obviously blank, and it should be blank. Let's open up our R4 folder on our desktop. Drag all this, copy, and paste. Be sure that your R that you do not drag the R4i SDHC folder on our desktop. You want to drag these folders right here. You want to drag these folders, okay? Not any other folders. So now we're going to wait for this to download. Okay. Okay, now that it's done, you want to make sure that your R4 looks just like mine, okay? should look just like this. It doesn't matter how many games it's inside, but the front part should look like this. It should not look it should not have a folder inside it that opens up to this. It needs to look just like this. It needs to have the moon menu, the moonshine, the R4i menu, all this just like mine, okay? Now that we have that done, we're going to go back to the computer's folder, right click and safely eject it. We have a little tab that pops up, the removable disk F, device can now safely be removed from the computer, and now we're going to eject it and go back to the camera and make sure that it works. Now that we've put all of our files on our micro SD card, let's put the micro SD card into the R4. So now that we get our micro SD card out of our USB reader, put it in like so. Make sure that you follow this diagram right here, so you don't put it in the wrong way. Put this into your DS just like any other game. And then turn it on. Let me move the box over so you guys can see. Okay. I have mine still so instantly load up to the video to whatever cards inside. You can just do that in regular settings. 
Um, normally, if your DS doesn't already do that, just click on the little game cartridge, whatever it says. Um, okay, so this is the R4 uh, software m menu. Um, the three me the three menu bars are game, media, and configuration. Also, at the bottom is a Wi-Fi engine. Not really going to go into much detail of that. But uh, as games, as what it says, this is where the games are located. There's my Lame Boy, which is where I'll be playing my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And then here's my .NDS files. As you can see, it's Legend of Zelda, Mario, some Pokemon, and uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that good stuff. If you want to go back, just press B. Actually, no, if you want to go back, press R. I'm sorry. Um, let's go over to the Configuration tab. Configure... The configurations tab will let you upgrade the system without even plugging it back into the computer. Um, that is sleep mode, which I'm surprised is even on because I normally hate that feature. But let me let's go over to the configuration. Um, sleep mode make lets it so if you don't like touch the DS in any way, it will just like turn up a black screen in 10 seconds. Or uh, you, it says sleep mode. Press A to increase the time and press uh, Y to decrease the time. Pretty simple. It's all very simple, user-friendly stuff. Sound on, sound off. That's language. Up there is language, sound, sleep mode, and upgrade mode. And you can always reset it to the default format. Well, let's just go back. Upgrade. This is your current version, and underneath would normally be the latest version. And uh, you just normally click on it, and it would update. But you would have to be uh, hooked up to Wi-Fi. And here are the skins. You can always just change your skins by going over here. You can pick like a red skin or a wood skin. If we'll go Pokemon skin and all that good stuff. Or you can just have random skins, so randomly pick one. But uh, let's just go back. Um, save. Go back. We're going to ignore that phone. And uh, we're going to go back. Okay, after that little phone break, let's get back to where we were. Uh, the middle one is the media, is the multimedia tab. This is where you would uh, get your music that you downloaded. Uh, this is where you would get your music that you put on your SD card. It's very simple to use. Everything on the R4 is uh, user friendly. But let's go over to the games tab, which is the main reason that people buy an R4 is for free games. I'm load up. Okay. So as you can tell, this is all the games that we downloaded. Some Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, Mario, Pokemon's Downer, but this Mario, Pokemon, and some Yu-Gi-Oh! down at the bottom. Okay, so let's go over to the top screen. To navigate through this, you press B and Y. The top one is the games, which is what you see down here. The cheats is obviously what cheats that you... Actually, one second. One second, let me pick a game that actually can use cheats. You pick cheats down here, you just scan through it and download... And uh, select whatever cheat you want to and click save. Go down again. This is your save file. This is where you would load saves or uh, back up any saves. And then the ROM setting. Don't change any of this stuff except for cheats. Don't change the DMA or the soft reset. Don't do that. It's bad. It's bad, okay? But uh, yeah, now going back to the games tab, let's uh, start up a game. Let's do New Super Mario Bros. After uh, starting up a new game, it will always create a save file. Yeah, loading. Let's turn up the volume to make sure that the volume works. Hopefully you guys can hear it, but uh, yeah, it's working. This is a Mario game. Let's create a new save, save file one. Watch out, Princess Peach. <laughs> Mario's to the rescue. Okay, this cutscene should be ending uh, soon. Okay. Well, Bowser's gonna take her to the- er, Baby Bowser's gonna take her to the castle. Let's start at the first level. Let's just go through part of it. Okay, come on, don't mess this up. Uh, yeah! Okay. So as you can tell, the game obviously works. Um, if you want to go back to the R4 menu, you can either uh, turn off the game, or uh, pull down L, R, 
and um, A, B, Y, X at the same time, so just big thumb over it. And I'll go right back to the settings. <laughs> Let me just go over one thing before we end this video. Um, after, after starting up a new game, as you can tell, there's a new symbol over there. If this camera will focus. Focus. Okay, I think this is the best I'm probably going to get. Okay, so as you can tell, that there's a new yellow symbol in between the two. So let's go through each symbol. The little key on the far left uh, means that there are cheats for that game. The yellow DS with, a, with wavy lines over means that that game has Wi-Fi. And the little red, what looks like a, a shut-off button, is actually the start button. Um, the yellow DS button, the yellow DS will only pop up if you've already started the game. So you can't tell if the game has Wi-Fi until you start up the game. And uh, that is pretty much how you work in R4. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. If you like the video and it worked, please thumb up and leave a comment saying that it did work so other people will believe me. And uh, please subscribe. The subscription is not just a number. It's a real thing. It really does help. And uh, I hope to see you guys later. Peace.